This is my dried fruit apple and nut stuffing. This is just one diced apple. Let's say about a half a cup of um, chopped, up, no, chopped, up, chopped up nuts. So there's almonds, pecans, cashews, pistachio, and hazelnuts. Then I have a dried blueberry and dried cranberry. And in this I put salt, a good pinch of salt, good pinch of pepper, um, sage, I would say about um, half teaspoon of sage, half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half teaspoon of parsley, um, half teaspoon of garlic, and I think that's about it. That's all I put in. Oh, and I uh, said parsley already. Um, oh, half teaspoon of Italian seasoning just to make it very like herbaceous. Okay, I did this. I let it sit. Let those nuts in the um, dried fruit get a little bit moist, let the, um, it's called macerate, when you let fruit sit in salt or sugar. So that's ready. This is just one box of croutons. This is uh, one egg. You just want to scramble it a little bit. Okay, that's that. And this is the um, celery, onions, carrots, and butter and herbs that I cooked in with the giblets. Okay. What I want to do is I want to get all this, as much of this vegetable in there as I can. should have used this. I think I'm going to do this. This going here. We We'll transfer it into that one. It's not quite big enough to mix. And yes, I am using nature's best cooking tool. You don't have to. You can use spoons and whatever. Okay, I think this is going to need all of that liquid. Maybe more. But we have more if we need it. Okay, it's still kind of hot. Steaming. You want that because that's what you want. You want these croutons to be... Soak and steam. You, know, you got to be careful not to put too much liquid because you will have a very mushy, kind of a yucky kind of stuffing. And you want to add the fruit and the nuts. Said, no, but not everybody can do this with their hands. I have leather hands, as I'm told quite often. Okay. Oh, you can really smell that blueberry in there. It smells good. And if we're having blueberry in it. It's really not that sweet. Just adds it like a, an extra floral flavor to it. Okay. Add the egg. This just binds it. Has moisture and binds it. That's all. Okay. So this is plenty enough liquid for this. Let's see, I might need to add a little bit more croutons to the situation. It looks like I might have put a little bit too much liquid. I always buy extra just in case something like this happens. No harm, no fail. Okay, there we go. That's looking wonderful now. I don't need to adjust any of the other flavors. It'll just all meld together. There we go. That's not so. See, I put too much liquid in it. I should have stirred it a while first. Oh, stuffing is not exact. So there you go. This is how it should look. 
And then you put it back in your casserole dish here. to pack it too too tight. Need to let the heat and the air get down and chew the stuffing so that it'll cook the egg. So you don't want to pack it too tight. Poke your fingers in there, get some air down in it. Okay. Then this cover it. We have to cover this with aluminum foil. Put it in the oven at 425 for 45 minutes to an hour. Gotta let that egg cook. That's it.